We move to the featherweight division here in Las Vegas. Robbie Peralta going head to head with Shaman Marias. 29 25. There you see the height advantage and the weight almost identical and a slight reach advantage going the way of the American Robbie Peralta. Shaman Marias. This should be a very entertaining fight, boss. Ooh, a uh, lot of speed. These guys are both great strikers. Peralta, 13 knockouts and two submissions. This guy likes to finish people. And Moraes also from his seven wins, four knockouts. So, who's going to make the first mistake? Yeah, Shaman Moraes is a very quick fighter. He had a great bout with the champion of the Bantamweight division with Marlon Moraes. And now you see Shaman in the white trunks, Robbie Peralta in the blue and white. Shaman Rice is an interesting fighter, young man in the white trunks we mentioned. Seven and one with four knockouts. He trains in Los Angeles part-time at Black House Gym, but he's from Rio de Janeiro, Brasil, and Team Nogueira. Edelson Silva in his corner. So he's got all the names, all the talent, a Muay Thai specialist. And again, that one blemish coming the way at World Series of Fighting 22 to the champion, Mara Marias. That's what I like there. Shaman Marais, he, he threw straight to the body with the left, you know. Most of the time, those guys, you know, stay with legs, especially early in the fight. Ooh. <laughs> it's good that he was outside that reach of that shot. Wow. And this is kind of a clash of organizations as Robbie Peralta makes his World Series of Fighting debut as eight we go. fights in the UFC, one in strike force, Taekwondo black belt specialist. So we'll see how he's welcome in to the World Series of Fighting. And you see what Mirage is doing now, he threw a second straight to the body, you know, and it connected. He's going to do that a few times, let his opponent get used to that movement, and then suddenly he's going to add a punch. Because you want your opponent to block it. He's going to recognize it. He's going to say, okay, you got me twice. I'm going to block it the next time. But guess what? Once you block it, your defense to the head goes open. And that's yeah. when that extra shot to the head will be good. Boy, the speed that Shaman Marias has. You asked Marlon about it, no relation, but well, I tell you, that was one of the classic fights of just all out speed. And they didn't just stand on the outside and kind of feel out the situation. They went at it. Yeah, but that was to, 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 two different styles as well. Marais with the footwork flying all over the place. These guys both here are staying in the pocket. They really want to knock their opponent out. And don't get me wrong, Marais uh, uh, can do that as right. well. <laughs> Robbie Peralta, 13 knockouts to his credit with 18 victories, two submissions. So he definitely has the power in those fists to get it done. Very fast starter. A lot of his fights ending in that first round. It'll be interesting to see how Shaman in the white trunks handles Peralta's speed and that power in his fist. But he's so far been able to stay on the outside, and that time the kick catch is perfectly timed by Peralta. Almost simultaneous to kick. Yep. Only his low kick landed at the moment. The right kick was in the air from uh, Marais. You see just how quick that stutter step came from Shaman just to set up that kick. Nice body shot again. I like what he's doing. Finding holes. And when you have the speed that Shaman has, boss, it's amazing how close he'll get to his opponent. You know, a lot of guys don't want to get that close if you get caught, but he'll, he'll walk right into it knowing that he has a speed like that. Two kicks in a row just to back out of the way. Yeah, it's good that you have a switch kick like that. You can do it on any distance. There we go. You can do it with the knees. And you can do it with strikes, elbows. Very, very comfortable, so inside. Well, that combination comes with that lead right uppercut and then comes with the kick. Yeah, that was a throw on purposely slow, so he blocks it and then comes with a high kick. <laughs> yeah. Right to the midsection. But it's a, it's a really good sign again because it means he's thinking. He's trying to set his opponent up. Gotta watch out though, Peralta, man. <laughs> if he connects, you don't get 13 knockouts uh, yeah. or nothing. Shaman Marias measuring up Peralta. Trying to stay on that outside. Comes with a kick yet again. And yet again, and then steps away. Peralta continue to come forward. Seems a little frustrated, but a nice side kick there. And he gets some flesh on the midsection of Marais. 
Look at this. Never expected that. Yeah, Shaman Rice looking for a takedown. Didn't think that was going to happen. One thing you'll find with Shaman Rice is this kid is in absolute incredible shape. He is never, and I mean almost never, you'll see him with his mouth open, breathing heavy. He just kind of gradually goes through his paces. So an interesting first round here at the Chelsea Theater of the Cosmopolitan Hotel. And we will be back live on NBCSN for round two. World Series of Fighting 26 underway. Round number two between Robbie Peralta and Shaman Marias on the right side in the white trunks. Meanwhile, backstage, this is Alexandre Almeida out of Manaus, Brazil, getting set to do battle with Lance Palmer, and that is our main event of the night as Palmer puts his featherweight title belt on the line. You'll see it live here coming up on NBCSN. We check in now at the start of round number two with Joey Varner. All right, thanks. In the corner of Shaman Marias, his coaches first asked him, are your legs hurting? Is there something wrong with your legs? He says, no, why? They said, then why aren't you kicking more? Kick more, kick harder, and when you land those hard kicks, look to go upstairs with some hard punches, too. All right, we'll see what happens there. We'll see if he follows suit. Boss, the fighter gets in the situation, and Shaman Marias, of course, known for some of those strong kicks that he has. Does he think maybe he just doesn't need them and he can get it done with the striking? I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. Sometimes, you know, you might simply forget. It's going so well upstairs, and you go like, oh, I feel the reflexes. I'm, I'm stopping every kick attack that he did. All the front kicks that uh, Peralta was throwing, he pretty much deflected. You know, so maybe the focus goes on there. Now he's going to start throwing a, a, low, an, uh, a front kick back. He also threw a low kick right in the beginning of, the f of this second round here. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he ties them together. But what both these guys are doing are making single kicks, and I, I, I wouldn't do that. See, everything is a single kick. You have to watch out for it. You can be countered. It's better to set it up a two or three sh shot combination with the hands and then wrap it up with a kick. Ooh. Robbie Peralta starting to get into combination mode. Yep. The young man with eight fights in the UFC, making his World Series of Fighting debut. Chael Sonnen also was in the UFC. Chael, what did you hear during that last break? Well, guys, Peralta's been throwing such hard and powerful punches that if one of them punches, his coaches believe it could knock out a horse. The problem is he hasn't made contact yet. They want him to keep after it because they do believe sooner or later one's going to get through. Yeah, he does have 13 KOs with his 18 wins, so he certainly has the power in those fists. Shaman Marias really boss. Probably been the, the difference has been his speed and ability to avoid those punches. That's it. He's just stayed on the outside. There was one cross hook combination that uh, in the beginning of this round he connected with Peralta. But now you see that also Marias is starting to find his reach. Yep. Every shot is coming closer to the jaw now. And he sets it up with the kicks. The front kicks the whole time. The Peralta says, okay, I can do that too, but I'm going to the face. Shaman calmly walking forward, pacing down there, going with that left jab, trying to strike. Yeah, you can really counter those side kicks. If you deflect him, counter him with the right low kick. And I'm talking about the left side kick of Peralta. And then the right low kick right after, see that? Could have done it again. And I'm, I'm in agreement with what Chael said about, about Robbie Peralta. I mean, he's got some serious power, and he's fired off some great shots, just barely missing Marais. If he catches him on the jaw of the temple, it could be night-night. Night. Yeah, with his punches, you mean, right? Right, exactly. Because yeah. his, his, his kicks are fast, but they don't have as much a sting behind it. There's that crazy punch yeah. again that he did. It's yeah. just a setup. See, to go to the head. Ooh. There he is! Oh. And Shaman catches him! Marais catches him and they'll shut it down that is Whoa. it yep you see and that's what i said he was setting him up with that long low uppercut gun, and he does it on purpose just like that shaman mariah shuts it down ladies and gentlemen Referee Kim Winslow has stopped the fight at three minutes and 21 seconds of round number two. Officially a TKO due to strikes. And your winner, Shayma Moraes! So young Shayma Moraes runs his record to eight and one, picking up the victory by way of TKO. Yeah, I'm in back.